this brief discussion of about the pictorial projections, now we are going to focus on the isometric projections. Okay. And in isometric projections, we will see some important terms and then we will start with the first problem of isometry. Now, so I will draw a very common diagram. Now, just now we have seen that this, these three angles are same. Now, in the isometric, in this, this cube is drawn with the form of isometric projection. Now, in this, these three edges we will also need it. So, now if you see this AB, BC, and BF, these three edges, these three edges, they are the important edges and they are called as isometric axis. Isometric axis. Okay. Whereas uh, now all the lines which are parallel to these three lines, these lines are called as isometric lines. Okay. Whenever we create any, whenever we will draw any isometric drawing, so most of the lines, okay, uh, with some except some few uh, exceptions, all the lines will be parallel to these three lines. Okay. Whatever complex object we may draw, so all these lines they are called as isometric lines. The lines which are parallel to three basic isometric axes, they are called as isometric planes. Okay, yes. And <coughs> isometric planes, so again the three important the three surfaces here, they are called as isometric planes. Okay, isometric planes. So now this A, B, C, F, B, C, G, uh, G, F and A, B, A, B, C, D. Okay, these three are isometric. So these three are very important terms which we generally use in the isometric drawings. We will use these terms whenever we will require by solving the problems. Now the next and very important thing, what is the difference between isometric project, isometric drawing and isometric projection? In case of orthographic, if you see, the orthographic drawing when we say and orthographic projection when we say, both the meaning is same. They are representing their, uh, they give the same meaning. But in case of isometric, isometric drawing and isometric projection, these two are these are two different things. For that, we need to understand one more important thing: what is isometric scale? Uh, so now, if you see, yeah, this is a cube. Okay. So originally, this shape is a square shape. Now we will see that square in isometric drawing it is seen as a rhombus. Similarly, a circle will be seen as ellipse. So now that means there is a change of shape. Okay. And there is change of length also whenever we move from the original object to the isometric one. So now this originally is a square. Okay, this originally is a square and here it is seen as a rhombus. Now we try to find out the relation between the true length okay, and the isometric length. What I have drawn now, this is the original square. This ABCD is the isometric uh, the representation of this square, that means ABCD is a rhombus, whereas A to B. C and Q. This is the original square. And what we want to find out? We want to find out the relationship between this two. Okay, the relationship between the AD and AQ. AD and AQ. Why? Because AD is representing the isometric length, whereas AD is in, AQ is representing the true length. So what is the relationship between these two? We'll just see. So AD upon AQ. So what I want, I want basically the ratio or relationship between the AD and AQ which is AD is the isometric length and AQ is the true length. Now in that, I will just try to rearrange this, if I name this point as O, so AD upon AO into AO upon AQ here, okay, I have just multiplied, I have divided, multiplied and divided by AO, where AO is this side and this side. 
Now, if you find out this angle is 30 and for square we already know that this angle is 45. Okay, this is square, so that means this angle is 45. Now, uh, OAQ, whereas we know that this is 120, 120, 120, from that if you find, okay, this angle is 60 and right now this half of the angle is 30. So, you will find that it is, okay, 1 of uh, cos 30, correct? <coughs> 1 by cos 30 into cos. Now it is sin of 40. So it is again cos 45 now. By which we will put the values here. You will get AD is equal to this 0.815 times if you just put the values. 0.815 times this AQ. What does it show now? It tells us that AD, which is this length, which is a, you can say isometric length. So isometric length is equal to 0.815 times the true length. And this is very important. It is a relationship which we obtain. That means whenever I am originally I am given, I have been given with some length, it is an object of different dimensions. When I want to draw in asymmetric drawing, in that case, I will have to convert everything ideally, convert everything into the isometric length. If it is 100 mm, I will have to multiply it by 0.815. Okay? And then with that dimension, I will have to draw this. But then it was found that. Uh, though we are changing the dimensions, there is no change in the shape. Because if we convert everything by multiply everything by 0.8 times, okay, it will be just reduced by 0.8 times. But shape will remain same. So later on it was decided that rather than converting everything, we will basically keep the dimensions as it is. We keep the dimensions as it is. Okay. That means here if you see, if I if I now if this uh, this is a true length. If I take a true length okay, and you create the drawing, then the drawing is called as okay, here an isometric drawing. Where I take a true length and create a drawing, so that is called as isometric drawing. Whereas where we may use the isometric length, we okay, can create a drawing. That drawing is called an isometric projection. Isometric projections. So now this is the very very important state that uh, if we can, if you take the true length and draw the drawing, that is called an isometric drawing. If we convert everything by multiplying it by 0 0.81 times, so that is called as that then that becomes isometric length. And if you can take the isometric length and create the drawing, that is called an isometric projections. Now and that's why if we have seen the topic, so that is isometric drawings. We are also going to draw the isometric drawings only. That means we will not convert the object, we will not convert all the dimensions into the isometric length. In the original, with the true length only, we created. So, with this uh, discussion about uh, basics of uh, maybe classification of pictorial drawings, subtle and its relationship, we will start with the first problem of isometric.